What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to Big Bro and Little Sis Reacts. I'm Tamaj and this is Taya. Hey. And today we are on Doom Patrol Season 4, Episode 1, Doom Patrol. Um, so yeah, I think last episode they really kind of like ended it with everybody coming together and being a team. They all like kind of ended off on a team. Cliff wasn't in his normal body, but yeah, I believe... Try not to look too much into the season, but I believe they're going to be traveling to the future a bit. Don't know what they're going to be doing, um, but they did play with time last season a lot. And it was really good. I thought last season was really well done. Um, so, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing them come together as a team. Some of them are trying to be heroes. Rita mainly. I think Cliff wants to do better. Um, Vic already was a hero. Um, and then Crazy Jane, she kind of has to get on that path, but she's been trying to do better for Kay. Um so yeah, and then we got Madame Rouge, who's trying to be better too. Um, so yeah, everybody's trying to do better for themselves. So let's see what they do this season. Um, Larry, I think, still has to get on the hero path, but I think he'll get there, especially working together with everybody, because his story is always just so sad all the time. So, but anyway, for one of the reactions I available on Patreon, let's do season four. She's getting mad. Okay. <laughs> I miss Doom Patrol so much. The future. Um, not any future I want to live in. Why well, look like they in an apocalypse? I mean, I know they be dealing with world and stuff, so I wonder if this means they failed the mission or something one day. This is Cloverton, so. Yeah, somewhere wrong, somewhere. Not do the right thing and then there's a gun. Metal detector. Who is this, Vic? Oh, it was Vic. Got the built-in crossbow cannon. I forgot he lost his tech when we last left him. That's why it looks a bit skinny. This is recording 297. Observations of the Doom Patrol by Dr. Harrison, Day 93. Not by Dr. Harrison. The Cod Peace Mission. I continue to be astounded by the garden of psychological plights presented by this group. It's been three months and my decision to stay continues to pay dividends. This bargain basement sideshow has been working as a superhero team aptly named the Doom Patrol. Well, they finally named themselves that. Sarah has carved out a starring role for herself as team leader because no one wanted a job. Ready position! Oh my god, this is her superhero costume. You know she's gonna be dramatic. It's that run for me. Rita. <laughs> this cannon. and failed community theater extra seems to have found her niche by default believe it or not she's led this busted justice league to seven successful missions okay. dear rita tackles the job with endless enthusiasm despite the lack of cooperation or respect of her teammates any questions yeah not going after cod piece and not doing code days a question begins with who what where when or why clifford not Clifford. Why do you get to pick the code names? Because they suck. When you spend days researching and plotting missions while getting paper cuts and inky fingers, you can choose the code names, okay? Until then, you're a robot man. Dr. Harrison is Crazy Jane. Larry is Negative Man. Vic yes, Rita. Is cyborg. And Bring us to our comic Rouge, roots. Your dog shit McGivens. <laughs> Rita's ire for Madame Rouge is as hot and fiery as ever. And Rouge eats healthy doses of her shit because she desperately wants to make amends for Malcolm and the sisterhood. Ooh, now her turn her hand into a knife. Even though it runs counter to her true nature. Yeah, good choice. The last two women. Thank you. In between hating Rouge and being disrespected, Rita had the good idea to attach the brain's robot head to the time machine. Now we no longer have to hurdle through space time, duct tape to Shipley. She also solved the time travel memory loss problem. Strangely enough, with a jellyfish. Oh, I 
couldn't tell you why it works. But it does. And what made them want to try that? You know what? Yeah. It's completely within their characters. So. <laughs> Can we speed this up, please? Yes, just throw our plans on the Robot in the air. Man. Is he stuck Robot still? Man. What happened to his arm? He's petty. He's petty, not Clifosaurus. Let her get up. This is a battle. That guy negotiations. When it tries to control the team's every move, because she can't bear to lose another loved one. Diagnosis: a textbook perfectionist slash narcissist with survivor guilt and PTSD. Vic and his father repaired most of the robot man's smooshed body. However, the testicle creature incident led to global shipping delays, and they're still waiting on parts for his other arm. Makes sense. I suspect Cliff has a low IQ due to poor breeding of Florida public school education and <laughs> race car fumes. Diagnosis. A grade A simpleton. Sounds the like hero formerly him. known as Useful has settled into place as the team's one-man IT squad. Without his tech, Rita prefers he stay out of harm's way. But Vic is unsatisfied by his new role and yearns to do more. Last one, you got a bogey find it. Last one. Hey! Yo, that's far enough. No, 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 no. Don't, don't do anything. I'm not really part of Codpiece's crew. I, I'm, I'm just the IT guy. What do you mean, just the IT guy? You're an integral part of his villainy. The foundation he builds his nefarious successes on. Oh. Does he think that of himself? Yeah. Yeah, I, I am vital. I guess I am important, huh? <laughs> Are you good? Just, uh, yeah. Power. yeah just, just hang on. I can't do it if people are talking. A booty cannon! to engage with an ass bazooka wielding twit? But he was I don't want to hear it. You stick to the plan or you stay home. So we're not gonna talk I about the booty bazooka? takes the red-headed mess's admonishments as a lack of faith in his abilities. He doesn't realize she too is working through her own issues. Together they form the perfect storm of psychological inadequacies. Hmm. Though Vic fearlessly jumped into the fray against a Nimrod with a rump cannon, he's far less courageous when it comes to following through on the promise he made himself to find his happiness. Diagnosis, personality dysmorphia and social cowardice. Larry and Keeg have been getting on like a house on fire. It may be the first reported case of a host developing Stockholm syndrome towards its parasite. Oh, God. Larry's managed to let go of himself enough to share his life and body with Keeg in a way he never could with the negative spirit or his human family. And though Larry tells himself the new life he's forged with the neon leech is fulfilling enough, the truth is, he yearns for more. I'm fine, buddy. Just you and me. Diagnosis. Good old-fashioned self-loathing with a healthy dash of codependency. Madame Rouge refuses the jellyfish on every mission because it gives her the briefest respite from remembering her betrayal of Malcolm and the sister. Ah. Oh, 
Excuse me. What am I meant to be doing again? I what? You don't remember? Transform into something to strike him out. Right. Wow. Are you body shaming me? That's the next level evil. I won't even go there. I'm gonna kill your face! So hard! But Rouge's memories always return with a vengeance. And she's created a nasty ritual that's a form of psychological self-harm. The results are always the same, and she's forced to face the fact that she's relegated hundreds of people to obsolescence. Though all-encompassing, her pain is a quiet one. The kind that's always there, just under the surface, smoldering, looking for something to catch, but never finding anything. Putting herself through that each and every trip. Diagnosis. Self-loathing doormat with sociopathic tendencies. Thank you. As for me, I've managed to find my own place amongst this bunch of walking tragedies. One that makes use of my specific talents. Come now, Mr. Codpiece. Who are you really mad at? Because it can't possibly be me. You don't even know me. So she talked him down? One phone call, Dr. H. But I think you're right. It should be my mom. <laughs> Could he stole all his money for his mom? This doomed patrol is the El Dorado of psychological dysfunctions. Definitely a dysfunctional super family. Flip stop. Thank you. Unfortunately, my attention's been divided between my work my and my place. obligations. Jane, so ever defiant. Why are you here, H? To ask you the same question. The others are all searching for Kay. Why aren't you? Because I can think of better ways of wasting my time, like trying to eat my own face. So you're not concerned about the girl? Of course I'm fucking concerned. But Kay constructed this place, and if she doesn't want to be found, we're not going to find her. So you're here in her memories, enjoying warm beverages? I'm doing something actually useful. I'm trying to figure out what the girl needs. Want to know what I think? Mm. Yeah, more than anything I've ever wanted in my entire miserable life. I think you're on vacation here, hiding in the girl's memories to avoid your responsibilities. How relieved you must feel not having the weight of it all on your shoulders. Or maybe this is just sour grapes. After all, the girl did disappear under your watch. Mm. Remind me where you went to medical school again? Was it the University of I Watched a Shit Ton of Sally Jesse Raphael? Enjoy your stay, Jane. She read it like a book. Jane hates it. She teleported the entire bus of Edgelords into the Phantom Zone. Not the Phantom Zone. But we, uh, we busted them out anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Cell phone so you, huh? Are you leaving any time to find your bliss? I didn't ditch my tech to spite you. When are you gonna understand that this choice was about me. It wasn't an accusation, son. I'm sorry. Truth is, this isn't as easy as I thought it would be. Scary trying to find yourself, really. I think I'd rather take on the edge lords. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just give yourself time. You'll get there. Looks like we're done here. Thanks for your help on this, Dad. He's gonna be psyched. Oh, man. Is that what they're building? From yeah, it was. <laughs> This is their meeting alarm. I would be so mad. I think that's the point of it. All right, all right. Whose face are we stopping justice into today? Is that our fucking arm? As a matter of fact, it is. <laughs> fucking sweetness. Why is everyone else here? Well, we couldn't make your arm exactly like it was, so um, we decided to make it better. Looks like the same old shitty robot arm with the same old shitty robot fingers that I can't type for shit with, or write, or ball. We, we gave you the sense of touch. Niles in one finger. had a uh, little promise time. that. If things work the way they're supposed to, the nanites will spread to your other fingers. <gasps> 
I'll be able to feel my whole hand. That's the plan, Robot Man. <laughs> wow. Thank you. Uh, from the bottom of my jaw, it's just in heart. Okay. Yeah. Uh, 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 <laughs> it's to get the attitude when looking at Madame Rouge. Like, oh, did she just ruin my moment <laughs> with your face? <laughs> I feel bad because Rouge is trying, but it's hard when people hate you, but I completely understand it. The hate is justified. Would it be okay if I did it? It gives me me getting back to you You mind telling us why you don't want to? I haven't felt anything for 40 years. I think the first thing I like to touch is my grandson. Cliff, not to be a spoil sport, but technically you are touching that oven mitt. Does it count? Does it count? Be God damn, it's soft. Come on, fuck nuts! To the time machine! We're on a fucking Florida! Clifford, I know that you are excited, but the time machine is not an Uber. It is a crime fighting apparatus. Oh, come on, Risa. What is the harm in a wee jolt to America's like, Swiss Army? This is a joy to keep. <laughs> Why are you making me think? Oh, what, what's the harm? Yeah, come on, Rita. Don't be so controlled. Be cool for once. All right, all right, all right. Just this once. Fuck yeah, let's roll! Oh, I um, thought over time if I consumed enough of your shit, uh, I'd earn your forgiveness, but I'm realizing <laughs> that's probably never going to happen. And since my presence here is a constant trigger for you, I was thinking perhaps maybe once I, well, Perhaps maybe once we all return from Florida, it might be best that I find somewhere else to live. Unless, of course, you can find it in your heart to <sighs> forgive me. I hear there are a lot of nice efficiencies in Cloverton, if you don't mind getting scabies. I don't, actually. Uh, perhaps maybe you could give me... Rita said, not on my watch. This is the best day of my entire freaking life! Now you listen here, Madame Rouge. You will put this jellyfish on top of your peanut head because I want you to remember every word of your promise to leave my home. <laughs> oh, fuck you. Okay, Florida, five minutes from now. Everybody ready? Play some travel tunes. And yeah. He is just too ecstatic about feeling his touch. No, that's right. Ba, ba, ba. Are you an animal, vegetable, or a mineral? Yes. Are you huh? an animal, vegetable, mineral, man? Damn it! I thought that'd be harder! What else could possibly fit that description? What? Did you guys see this? Oh, it's probably another time goat. Let's not get paranoid. It's a woman. It's throwing y'all off course. She was from last season, wasn't she? Didn't she fall in at the end or something? She likes to watch people pee. No judgment. That's Isabel Feathers. The talentless wannabe who portrayed me in the Cloverton Theater's are Tom, huh? Should we let her in? No. <laughs> What's she doing in the time street? Uh, that might be my bad. When I arrived in Cloverton, she watched me taking a massive wash, then fell way into my time hole. I, I didn't think it was worth mentioning it. Please! Angry Jesus! Don't let me die before I touch my grandbaby! All right. Right. When are we headed, Victor? What year? No idea. Everybody brace your impact. Oh, God. Oh, the future. The horrid one we saw. Where on Earth are we? Never assume you're when on are... Earth. Doesn't matter and don't care. Let's just hop back into Shipley and get back on track to the FLA. Shipley's overheated. It's going to be a while before we can shove off again. I think I know where we are. Um, I think we went a little farther than five minutes into the future. 
If anyone you've known ever been affected or what? Oh, what do you suppose the shotgun's for? Oh my god, I think I know what the apocalypse is. What? The apocalypse the butts. Is. The wear butts. Decision. Yep. Remember, I like, didn't it bite somebody last season? And the wear exactly. It's the wear butt apocalypse. There's no place like home. This reminds me of my mother's house. She was a hoarder. Vienna sausages and Skittles. Ew. On both fronts. I haven't seen shit like this since the 70s, and we were high as fuck back then. No, wait. Oops. It looks like it's made out of cardboard and sticks. You guys could break that. It's Warmonger or Vic. Welcome to 2042. Holy shit, bears. Who is it? It's you! A rusty, busted version of you! What the hell? Yo, let me through! Why are they so petty? Every single one of you. This is weird. What's that on your face? Is that tech? Who wants tea? It all started about 20 years ago. Cloverton was the epicenter. It spread slow at first, then after a few weeks, it was everywhere. Hey, Omega Man, you want to skip the dramatics and just tell us what the lemon drizzled fuck happened? <laughs> Papers called it the butt apocalypse. <laughs> butt apocalypse. I think he's serious. No. That's impossible. We killed those assholes. Apparently, we missed one. And infected it with zombieism. You mean to tell us the world has been overtaken by zombie butts? That we created? I mean, the zombie part, anyway. It's about the size of it, yeah. Where are the rest of us? You tend to stick to your rooms for the most part. Go say hi if you want. Uh-oh. <laughs> of course they want to. Rouge. You're not here. You won't find anyone in your room. Oh. Did I change rooms? Did I just pop out from the laundry? only mean one thing i am at a larping retreat i'm dead then aren't i actually i don't know what happened to you you moved out right before shit kicked off we lost track of you soon after well then i can still be out there thriving under the new world order i look i go into cloverton Eddie, every day and i'm yet to see another survivor sorry vic take a walk with me well, the nice thing is they have a time machine, so they can go back and fix this. Just gotta know what to fix. Oh, fuck. Barry? Keek? What the hell is going on here? The ghost. Hello? Rita? I know what this is. It's a death loop. Read Vivian Farr. I know what you're doing and I want you to stop this instant. You're not fooling anyone, you know. This is the exact same blocking we did in the picture. The return of Ghost Gal, Ghost Gal's Gal Pal. Ugh, pish. I was hoping you would have forgotten. Well, what do you want? For starters, they're dead. Everyone's dead. Let me guess. I had a carefully well laid out plan and nobody followed it. Now you led them to the dells. Not exactly. It was Rouge. Rouge betrayed us like she did the sisterhood of Dada. No. It turns out we were about as good at being a team leader as we were at being a high school drama teacher. How can that be? <laughs> we have an undefeated record. It's complicated. Everybody has an undefeated record until they are defeated. Tell me everything. Are you really in such denial that you can't deduce what happened? Perhaps you're too much of a coward to own up to your actions. Cut the shit, H. Your pathological arrogance got the girl killed. In my time, the girl is still alive. I haven't done anything yet. It was you. Was that a different? 
clan of cataclysmic misfits you darkened my doorstep with. But that's impossible. The girl is your primary concern. Guess again, sister. If you were really interested in protecting her, you would have taken her far from this place and these people right after you seized control from Jane. But no. You were more interested in emotionally dissecting your little lab rats. And now Kay is dead. That's not good. Silas Stone, last team leaving Star Labs. Lord of Realms elected to represent. Looks like a wormhole. What was she trying to recreate the time machine? So you get to fuck with the sex ghosts at all? Sure, sure. Asks. I mean, not literally. I mostly do a lot of watching and commenting. But that's not really what you want to ask me about, is it? Are they Clara and Rory are fine? They took Mill's dad's boat out on the Atlantic and they're safe and sound. Really? No. No, oh, damn. Tell me. Bro, you don't want to know. Can you at least tell me what happened to me? Parkinson's got us. Mm. Really? Bro, you do not want to know. <laughs> Listen, bro! Either you start talking, or I'll make it my life's mission to figure out how to rip off your ghost head and shit down your ghost neck. Which would entail a side mission of figuring out how to take a shit, but so help me, I will fucking do it! Okay. Your perfect grandson, Rory. You never get to touch him. Because I died before I could get to Florida? Bro, you do not want to know. Oh my god! Oh, there you are. My god. We're dead. Future Key, release! Hey, where, where is Key, Larry? Larry, please, where is he? He doesn't live here anymore. What happened to him? What the hell did you do? Just when you thought their lives could get more dramatic, their lives got dramatic. And depressing. Oh, thank God. Key, look at you. You're all grown up. How you doing, buddy? What does he mean you don't live here anymore? Huh? You, you can talk to me. Oh, oh. Hey, what's happening? What are you doing to him? Oh. I thought you gave him something. What the hell did he say to you? Maybe he did something to try to help them later on. Um, Shit, now. Shit. He's still in the time machine. Of course he is. 45 minutes ago. Sooner or later, if they don't get eaten, they're going to make their way here. If you all keep them occupied, I'll double back and take shit me. I may be in the minority, but perhaps we should give our past selves a chance. Maybe with our guidance, they can avert this terrible future. This is a trap. <laughs> yeah, so let's leave it up to the idiots who already failed. Going somewhere? I don't want to fight you. I bet you don't, old man. Our talking's also good. This is for the best. For all of us. I was stealing the time machine instead of telling us how to stop this better. Because you're just gonna fuck it up. The way I see it, we haven't fucked up anything yet. It was you all who caused this future, not us. If you know how to avoid this, then you need to tell me. There's no point. Where you're at right now, you're not gonna hear me. Where am I at? You still think you're on plan. You just don't get it. Don't get what? What about us? Are we in a clear headspace? You better be. They're here. Yeah, let's not get bit. Thank you. Finally, someone tells me how I died. Don't let them fight you. We can't win this. We have to go. No, not until he talks. I will 
Start up the ship. Somebody better be starting the ship. Yeah, put the jellyfishes on your head so y'all remember. The jellyfish. Okay, Larry got his on. Okay. Tell us something. The long sequence has already been initiated. It won't open. He ain't want to come, so you yeah. can't save him. In. I hope they don't come back to the past. Well, freaking stubborn future Vic didn't help us at all. That was a fun trip. All they know is the future's messed up and they need to avoid doing whatever they were going to initially do. So we got these guys at Uber. Well, at least we know now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's better than not knowing. We got a, at least somewhat of an advantage over our past selves, but technically wouldn't they have to travel to the future too? Or is that not how time works? You can have it all. Easy, buddy. Easy. Yeah, he... He yes. learned something, too. There is a future negative spirit. Your other dad would write me a note sometimes. Could you try to do that? Can you please just tell me what future Key showed you? Key trying to go. Was it about me? What did you do to fuck this one up, Trainer? Did you see? Every hairy detail. I don't know what to say. <laughs> Good. Because I do. You were right. I was hiding out in case the Marines. Because being primary is hard and it's fucking draining and I needed a break. But after what I saw in the future, I am going back up right now and so help me, I will chuck you face first into the fucking wall with you. Uh Okay. okay. Where have you been? What happened to Dr. H? Don't follow me. Listen to me, please. Is that Dr. H's ashes? No, the puzzle pieces. I don't understand. The fuck? That's unusual. Uh, do you think there's random seeing Isabel feathers in the time stream? I'm not sure. Do you? I'm not sure either. Might be worth finding out. Right. You're not leaving. Because that only happened because they hit her. Given what we have seen in the future, it's probably for the best. All hands on deck. <sighs> Isn't this just a shitty cherry on top of a shitty Sunday made of shit? Okay. Derek Hayes. Marie, I am gonna come touch your perfect squishy tush. But <laughs> first I gotta stop the butt apocalypse. But I promise you, I will not touch a single thing with my new hand before I get to you. Until then, fuck you, the future. I don't suppose these are the Shazam wizards. It's better be good, Bunbury. I was in the middle of Graham Norton. Oh, this guy. The flora and the fauna have made an urgent discovery. This 
uh, funny looking. A, a thousand apologies, Henry. Prophecy only mentioned butts. If this is real, really, really real, I mean only one thing. We're all well and truly fucked. And Mortis will rise. Immortus. I think Immortus was in the first season, if you remember when they went to Fuktopia. Um, I think not, uh, the Silver Tongue killed him. He was the one that was like on life support and the thing, General Immortus, he doesn't die. He's one of the brains run him men. He generally controls, I think, the army, if I remember correctly. I, my knowledge is limited, but yeah he's he's a threat he's one of the brains folks so you know he's a heavy hitter yeah so mortis would rise so he's probably behind the butt apocalypse so that'll be interesting he seems to probably be the villain of the season which is interesting so we got a glimpse of the future we know we need to stop the butt apocalypse um of course it wasn't going to be easy nobody would tell them the the future doom patrol tried to trick the younger doom patrol so they could take their ships but they were thwarted and they failed and future Vic died. So I don't know. Rue said we gotta find that girl in the time stream. I don't think that was a coincidence because had she not hit, they wouldn't have landed in that future. So they think that somebody or something that basically they're thinking that happened for a reason. So uh they gotta put things together. There's one butt out there still. I don't know that it's infected anybody yet, or if it has, we gotta stop it before it infects more um rita i mean they're just all going through it right now but they're all trying to hold it together mm -hmm. rita's trying to be this perfect leader and do things by the book but that's not really how leadership works leadership's on the fly leadership is ever adjusting it's ever evolving role you can't just plan things out she like uh dr h's observation she wants to control every detail right to the point where she's literally yelling out what each person needs to do in front of the villain. Granted, it's worked so far, but at the same time, they're probably fighting like Z-list villains. Yeah, so. Yeah, I mean, they're kind of a real villain, villain. Like a mortis. You're not gonna have time to do that mm. at all, and you're not gonna have time to help. Um, whatever his name. And whenever he gets stuck. And the fact that that too is not allowing the team to think on their own or flesh out their abilities because they don't even really be wanting to be there, it looks like. Yeah. Vic wants to help. He's probably the only one who really wants to help her, but she sidelines him because she doesn't want him getting hurt. But um, really, he's the smartest one and he has more combat experience than anybody. So to put him in the back as a tech guy on the laptop is wild to me. Especially yeah. because he wants to help. I mean, he needs to find his own way to fight. And you're not giving... She's denying them their opportunity um, to change. And look, Future Vic said, I'd rather die than go back to that era of my life. So, obviously, they're very miserable. Robot Man's the only one that's pretty optimistic right now. Larry's trying to figure out how to navigate with this new Keeg. But Keeg just learned something from the future Keeg. And he didn't ran off. Um, Kay, I don't know what's going on with her. She didn't dust it, Dr. Harrison. Yeah. I don't know what that's about. And then spawned Jane back up at the top and gave her puzzle pieces. So basically put it together, figure it out. But I think Kay was also watching the future and she's like, well, Dr. Harrison's going to leave me to die. So I think Kay came back and doesn't also, want Harrison in charge. But also they could have just been saying that because they wanted the ship, the time machine. Who? So they said. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You talk, the future versions of them? Yes. I think there was still some truth in what they said. But yeah, either way, it changed the trajectory of things because the two Keegs weren't supposed to talk. I don't think that was planned. And I don't think Kay was originally going to come back and dust Dr. Harrison. Probably not because she, she's in hiding. And Dr. Harrison in the future was in control. So mm -hmm. the fact that Kay just changed that. But Jane's always kept them alive, so why not? Right. You know? Um, Madame Rouge, she wants to do better, but like she said, there's still that, you know, psychotic side of her that's still in there, so we gotta see. I feel like she's gonna teeter-totter, and she's been messing up her memory by making herself forget every time and then relive, having to go through finding out who she is and dealing with Rita's hate, so at a point, it's just gonna wear on her. But, 
Um, seems like she's trying now. She's trying to get Rita to forgive her, but it's, that's not going to come easy. Um, especially because Rita was at the happiest point in her life at that time in season three. And I mean, Bruges took that from her. So that ain't, that ain't going to come easy. So yeah, I'm excited to see where it goes. We got another episode, y'all. So we'll be jumping into that soon. Um, thank you guys for watching. And of course, we want to hear what you guys thought. Be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe. Just like, hit jump, and react. And we'll see you guys for more Doom Patrol. Bye.